Yo, this is the MS Diary for Friday, September 22nd. And allow me to explain what you're looking at. You are looking at somebody in full recovery from a complete breakdown on Thursday. Thursday morning, damn near 8.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, I just completely collapsed. It's like everything that I put into buckets and capsules and have it set on the dresser and have it all in the little container. The back pain, the leg pain, the nerve pain, the, the, it, the, the itching in the body. I have all those in different containers. I'm trying to manage that all day, every day. Sometimes stuff slips out. And Thursday, it's like it's like the shelf just broke and everything shattered and came out at one time. I was ready to pull the hair out of my head. My stomach pains were kicking in. I had to have so bloated, couldn't use it. I haven't been able to use the bathroom recently. I mean, it was just, everything was just, was just going bad. And the way that I put things back together is that the wife is here, my wife is here, and she just kept rubbing my head, rubbing my back, telling me to calm down. She brought me water. She got me a green juice, freshly, a freshly squeezed green juice, added some apples to it that so has some kind of sweetness and flavor to it. Whew, big love for that. And got me back in the bed. So I got back on. I often get in the bed by myself. But on a day like that, I needed help to get in the bed. So she had to actually pick up my legs and my feet and try to help Either way, got me back in the bed. I stayed in the bed for a couple of hours. Thought I was feeling better. Was trying to watch a little TV. And as soon as I got back in the wheelchair, I could slowly feel everything coming back open again. And the worst part was the the worst part was the was the pressure spots. My sores have not broken. My sores have not broken. They're not blur, broken, bleeding, anything like that. But that was the worst pain on the second time around. First time around would probably be the legs. The feet are still hurting the most. So I'm a whole lot better today than I was Thursday. But the feet are hurting the most. And like I said, my way around this, my way to manage the comeback, the bounce back, started with the wife being here and just rubbing my back, rubbing my head, telling me to calm down, bringing me water and juices. She got me, she made sure I had something to eat. She kept me eating throughout throughout the day. And slowly I just could put things back into their compartments and back, you know, this pain here, this pain there, this pain there. Because at the end of the day, if you have primary progressive multiple sclerosis, ain't nobody coming to save us. Oh, wow. There's no magical that pill that you can take. There's no magical doctor that you can call anything of that nature. There's no hospital that, that you can be taken to, anything like that. At the end of the day, if you have a chronic illness, and I do, and I'm at the primary progressive stage, there's no cure for this shit. There is no superhuman pill or hero coming to save you. But the wife being there and rubbing the back, the head, bringing the water, the juices, the stuff oh, to eat, just she sounds sweet. talking in my you ear. deserve that. That's the closest thing to medicine I had. That and the cannabis. I did not drink any alcohol, no alcohol the entirety of Thursday. The, I'm not gonna have any. I will have some alcohol today, it's Friday, but I didn't try to drink it away. I just, but I did smoke a lot and I just chilled. Like I just drank water, smoked a lot and just relaxed with the wife. And that was my only it's the only thing I did. Slowly I got things back together. This life is not for the weak, y'all. Appreciate you. I'm out.